and uh, I'd like to thank uh, all organizers uh, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, so <coughs> uh, in this talk, uh, I will talk about uh, the probabilistic step uh, of the work of regularity structure, so as a continuation of the so previous Ismail talk. So, okay, so this is a plan of talk. So <coughs> let me start from, so what is the problem? So the so-called BPA set theorem. Okay, <coughs> so the problem is uh, to consider so this kind of so singular stochastic PDs. So singular means that so we need to renormalize uh, this uh, so so nonlinear term in this SPD uh, to uh, give a sense. Uh, so <coughs> so one of the most important examples of such SPDs is a dynamical FIFO model. So, so it is uh, SPD, so, so formally uh, written like this. So in order to make sense of this cubic term, we need to subtract so some formally uh, given this linear term uh, from this cubic term. Okay, so the problem is, so how to prove so the renormalizability so how to give a sense to such kind of so singular SPD? Okay, so <coughs> so in the previous Ismail talk, so he uh, talked about the analytic and the algebraic uh, aspects of the regularity structure. Okay, so the starting point is to introduce the local expansion of the solution. So uh, at a formal level, so we can uh, expand the solution phi uh, by this form. So at each uh, near fixed point x. Okay, so phi, uh, so tau uh, runs over some finite or infinite symbols. And phi tau is a uh, coefficient at x. And pi x of tau is a problem. So it is uh, explicitly given uh, random objects. Okay, so it is uh, so x para, uh, so x indexed distributions. Okay, so the point of the analytic and algebraic steps of the regularity structure uh, can be stated like this. So it is a content of so previous Ismail talk. So the problem is uh, so how to give a sense to this cubic term. So in order to do it, so so we assume that all random, uh, random objects pi x star and the products of up to three of them uh, so to, uh, because uh, we are considering cubic term. So, uh, so we assume that so these random ob objects make sense. So make sense means that it is well defined via some renormalization. Then under this condition, uh, we can give a sense to the cube of some so unknown function. Okay, so there is no probability in this step. So the topic of my talk is a probabilistic step of the regularity structure. So the problem is how to build, so how to renormalize such random objects and their products. So this is so sometimes called the BPA set theorem. So named after Bogolyubov, Parasik, Hep, Zmema. Okay, this is uh, the topic of our, uh, my talk. Okay, so this is a rough image of our main result. <coughs> yeah, uh, <coughs> so we cons uh, so, so not, not only for the 5 model, so we consider a class of a wide class of SPDs, so something like this. So here, so capital F is a, so typically a polynomial of the solution U and its spatial value, uh, spatial deri derivative, and C is a space or space-time white noise. And so, so capital F may contain, uh, so the factor of this form, so here small f is a sufficiently uh, regular function if u 
can be uh, realized as a function. So anyway, so so this class so contains so KP's equation and five four three uh, five four model, and uh, so so it is a wide class of SPDs. Okay, so <coughs> the, so there are three important ingredients from the theory of regularity structures. Uh, so the details are uh, given later. So first, uh, we have a family F of random objects. They are explicitly written, so they are uh, given as uh, so functionals of the noise C. Uh, so we consider uh, family F of random objects under consideration. And the second one is uh, map from F to some real numbers. So it is uh, so it expresses an expected regularity uh, for each uh, for each object. Uh, the third one is uh, a kind of interpreter from the random object to the uh, so real uh, random distribution. <coughs> so, uh, so a typical choice is a so-called BPA set model. So it is uniquely defined from the law of the noise. Okay, so this is uh, uh, so rough statement of our theorem. So the sufficient condition is very simple. So we only assume that the expected regularity R of random objects, so other than C, are all great, uh, greater than this number. Then, uh, so, so we can say that the BPA set model makes sense. Uh, so the convergence of the BPA set model holds uh, for any random ob object in F. So this kind of statement is, uh, was first proved by Hyra and Steele. Uh, but uh, we, uh, in this talk, uh, we provide an alternative proof for the same uh, theorem. OK, so this result con uh, so contains so, so many concrete SPDs, so phi for the model, and the quasi-linear KPC, and something. <coughs> And it is also remarkable that uh, the same result holds for any stationary noise satisfying the Poincaré inequality in the Wiener space. So not only for the uh, white noise. Uh, the Poincaré inequality is uh, uh, exp uh, explained in the next slide. Okay, so let me explain the historical uh, backgrounds in the proof or the BPA set theorem. So roughly speaking, so, so there are uh, two kinds of proofs uh, for such kinds of uh, theorem. The Feynman diagram approach and the diagram free approach. Uh, the first one is more concrete. So the point is that uh, stochastic estimates on the random objects uh, leads to the bounds the problem to, uh, <coughs> to show that the bounds of some complicated iterated integrals. So it leads to some graph theoretical argument. So for example, so in the 543 model case, so we have only uh, so seven or eight number of random objects, so to be renormalized. Uh, so uh, so direct calculations for such so random objects is possible, uh, but <coughs> but uh, you may find that such uh, so such direct calculation has a limitation. So so for example, um, uh, in this paper, so this paper is my master thesis. So uh, this paper consists of uh, one hundred pages, but 80% of them is devoted to, dirty, uh, devoted to dirty calculations. So only 20% uh, <laughs> is mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, so, 
different from so direct calculations, Chandra and Hira uh, provided a general proof uh, based on so Feynman diagram approach, which holds so for a wide class of SPDs. Uh, but their paper is very <laughs> uh, tough to read, uh, at least for me, <laughs> and too too precise and too abstract. Uh, so, <clears throat> so if you are interested in so, so let's try. <laughs> Uh, but so <clears throat> the second so approach is more sophisticated, I think. So so recently, so Rina Lesotto, Tempermeyer, and Sassoris uh, introduced an inductive proof for the BPSS theorem. So their tool is uh, Poincaré inequality on the Wiener uh, Wiener space. Okay, so the noise C, uh, so uh, we say that the noise C uh, satisfies the Poincaré inequality. If there exists uh, some constant c, and so for any bound and that smooth and uh, smooth cylindrical functions capital F, uh, the variance of f of c is bounded by uh, the expectation of L2 norm of so Maria bound derivative of f. So NABRA means uh, gradient operator along Camero Martin space. So this uh, a smaller space than the noise space. Okay. <coughs> uh, so Otto and course, uh, uh, his courses uh, uh, succeeded to uh, provide an inductive proof for, for the BPSF theorem uh, for the so quasi-linear uh, stochastic heat equation by using the original language. So their language is is a little bit different. Uh, so I think it is so related to regulated structures, but uh, uh, but uh, but they, they are different. So after that, so Highland still so obtained an alternative proof uh, based on their so regularity structure language, uh, but. Uh, but their proof is based on uh, so some extensions, the model distribution, the so-called pointed model distributions. So it is uh, some uh, conceptual exten extension of the model distribution. So, <coughs> uh, so, <coughs> so we are not satisfied with their proof. So, so we pro uh, <coughs> so. So different from their proof, so uh, we obtained an alternate, alternative proof for the same uh, for the same result by using some extens extension of the regularity structure. But our modification is, uh, I think, uh, more natural uh, because it only uh, contains uh, so integrality exponent. Uh, so, uh, so, 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 our tool is uh, so some natural extension of the regularity structure, including so integrability, uh, integrability exponent. Okay, so <coughs> okay, so this is a historical background. Okay, so anyway, so. So let me explain the detailed settings and the more detailed main result. Okay, so and I should apologize in advance because so five pages from here are all devoted to definitions. So, <coughs> so but uh, uh, you can check so so which ingredients is defined by uh, this uh, this symbol. Okay, so <coughs> so let's start from the definition of the family F. So F is a family of random objects. So what kind of objects we are considering? Okay, so the starting point is uh, the Hamel form, 
of the original uh, semilinear equation. Okay, so we are considering this kind of so, semilinear equation, uh, but in, introduce, by introducing I operator, which is uh, essentially uh, the inverse of heat operator, and uh, we can uh, re uh, rewrite this PD in this so Duhamel form. form. So here, uh, the term, here comes the term, so associated with some initial conditions. Okay, so, <clears throat> so we can define a family F of some C functionals uh, by so applying so the usual so Picard iteration to this uh, equation. So, for example, if uh, this nonlinear term is uh, so given like this, then we can recursively define the family F by this so by this uh, inductive rules. First, uh, the noise C should be contained in, in F. And F is also, uh, uh, F uh, should be also uh, closed and uh, the I operator and products up to three. Okay, so if tau one, tau two, tau three is contained in F, then uh, these symbols should be contained in F. And there, so we need to uh, consider some additional structure coming from the usual Taylor expansion, but, uh, uh, but uh, I skip uh, this additional one. And <coughs> so essentially, so we can define family F, so like this, so following this rule. Excuse me, the, the, the fact that you need I2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, is it yeah. because you have uh, uh, the 5, 4 in mind? Or? Yes. Okay, uh, that yeah. otherwise you'll need much more or much less, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> but the point is that, so at this stage, uh, we don't consider any renormalizations. So they are on, only uh, formal, formal symbols. So we should rather write uh, these symbols like this, uh, so, so symbolic notations. So instead of so real, func uh, real functions or distributions. Okay, so. So we regard F as a family of these uh, symbolic, not symbolic notations. Okay, so, <coughs> so this slide is also devoted to the uh, definition of F. So the point is that our tool is a Poincaré quality. So we consider uh, the camera mounting space in the noise space. So we also need addi uh, so additional symbols, so express F, uh, expressing so first order derivatives of C functionals they are defined, uh, defined before. Okay, so we introduce another symbol C dot, so which expresses uh, arbitrary element of the camera mounting space. The camera mounting space of the uh, white noise is uh, given by L2 space. And <coughs> so, so note that so, so each element tau of F is a multilinear uh, uh, functional of capital C. So we can define uh, the family F dot by the family of symbolic notations uh, defined by like this. So <coughs> over any tau and so i, uh, so here tau is a nth linear functional of C and i runs over uh, from one to n. Okay, so under this preparation, uh, we can define the abstract version of the Maria van derivative, which maps f to f dot by these uh, so inductive rules. First, d uh, maps c to the, uh, the uh, c dot, and maps i of tau to i of d of tau. And this is uh, so, 
So the usual, so Leibniz rule. So in other words, so uh, the abstract derivative of tau is given by uh, this explicit formula. Okay, so we are so <coughs> so we are considering uh, symbolic notations in f and f dot. Okay, so the next key ingredients is uh, the expected regularity map R. Uh, but so here uh, uh, the important point is that uh, so first we fix uh, a parameter p in this interval. So for any fixed p, we can define uh, two kinds of maps. So expected regularity map R p and expected integrability map I p. Okay, so. <coughs> Rp is a map from symbolic notations to real numbers uh, defined by these uh, recursive rules. First, uh, expected regularity of C is given by like this. So this is uh, so the so regularity of the space-time white noise in the parabolic distance. And the second uh, second formula is. Uh, important. So the expected regularity of C dot is given by this formula. Uh, this quantity uh, may look uh, difficult, but uh, <coughs> so this number comes so naturally from the interpolation of Cameron Martin space and noise space. Okay, so recall that uh, the Cameron Martin space is L2, uh, which is uh, uh, included in this Bezos, L2 type Bezos space. And this L2 Bezos space is uh, by the Bezos embedding uh, continuously embedded in this L infinity type uh, Bezos space. So this is a uh, uh, space where the white noise lives. Okay, so <coughs> for any P, so, so the interpolation of this L2, uh, L2 Bezos space and L infinity Bezos space is given by like this. So this number comes from this regularity exponent. Okay, so this formula says that, so we consider, uh, so we, we regard the expected regularity of C dot is this number in LP sense. Okay. And the third one means that the expected regularity of tau of uh, tau sigma is given by the sum, and the fourth one says that i operator so increases the regularity. Ah, sorry. So this should be R, Rp. Uh, the i operator increases regularity by two. So it is the usual so uh, shadow estimate. Okay. So. The expected integrality map is uh, easier. So IP of tau is infinity if tau is an element of F, but P if tau is an element of first order derivatives. Okay, so, <coughs> so because we have two kinds of maps, so this leads to the concept of regularity integrality structure. So it is an extension of the regularity structure. So roughly speaking, regularity structure is based on the hierarchy of regularities. But regularity integrality structure is a, an extension of it, so including the uh, integrality exponents. Okay, so from here we can uh, prove uh, so the, the analogs of analytical theorems, so like reconstruction theorems and multilinear, uh, so uh, multilevel shower estimates, so which holds in the regularity structure settings. Uh, but uh, but as I skip the details. Okay, so <coughs> so finally, so we can define 
the canonical models, so natural models. <coughs> but uh, so before uh, defining the BPA set model, so first uh, we have to define the canonical models, so without renormalizations. Okay, so first we fix uh, sequence of modifiers, so rho n, so which uh, converges to Dirac delta as n goes to infinity. Okay, so then our map, <coughs> our canonical model pi x is so parameterized by xc, uh, h, n, p, and x. Uh, but in order to reduce the notations, uh, we all uh, <coughs> uh, we sometimes so omit omit C H N P and write uh, the model pi uh, by pi x. Okay, so pi x is a so map from symbolic notations to some uh, smooth functions. Uh, it is defined uh, by these rules. Okay, so pi x. Uh, so pi x is an interpreter of symbolic notations to some functions. First, pi x uh, so maps uh, capital C to the function C n. C n is a is a convolution of C and rho n. And pi x uh, maps C dot to H n. H n is a convolution of H and modifier. And pi x maps tau, uh, the product tau sigma into the product of two functions. And the fourth one is uh, the most important one uh, among them. So i of tau is mapped to so the Taylor remain, uh, so the remainder of the Taylor expansion of this function up to this order. Okay. So this is the uh, expected regularity of i tau in LP sense. Okay, so here, so uh, this is the parabolic scale of March index, uh, March indices. Uh, but the uh, uh, more important point is that this order varies depending on the parameter p. Okay, so so this point. Uh, has an uh, important role in our proof. Okay, so okay, so <coughs> so at this stage, uh, we can consider the precise uh, form of our question. So so we have the uh, family of canonical models. So the question is that, so the natural question is that does this canonical model converge in some sense as n goes to infinity? But it, uh, but it is false, uh, it falls in general. Uh, so instead, in order to get some uh, meaningful limit, we need some transformation from canonical models to some uh, uh, to some models. Okay, so among such transformations, so <coughs> the, um, so we can define the unique uh, BPA set model by following Brune, Hayras, and Botti's argument. So BPA set model means that so it cancels the expect expectations of canonical models. So in this sense, so the BPA set model is uniquely, uh, uniquely determined by the law of uh, noise. Okay, so <coughs> okay, so from here, uh, we will consider BPA set models, uh, but it is also remarkable that our proof is also valid for any transformations of models uh, be a uh, defined by preparation maps. Preparation map is, is uh, 
and uh, so generalization of BBS model, it, uh, it is introduced by Burine. Okay, so this is a full version of our main result. So our main result is a little bit, so, uh, so <coughs> a little bit, so, so, how to say, detailed uh, than the Highland Steel's theorem. Uh, because uh, we are considering any LP, uh, LP regularity. Okay, so uh, the suffic sufficient condition is the same as uh, the previous one. So we assume that all uh, expected regularity in L, L infinity sense of uh, symbolic notations in F other than the capital C is or greater than this number. Then, for any h in the Camero Mountain space and p in this closed interval, the BPS set model pi hat x converges to some so random models as n uh, goes to infinity in probability. The precise meaning is uh, written by like this. So uh, we have a family pi x, uh, pi hat x of tau of random short distributions. And uh, we have that this quantity goes to zero in probability uh, for any tau and a, a positive a. So it may look a little bit complicated, but uh, so uh, you may find that this is uh, so some natural exten uh, extension of the so uh, Bezos norms uh, based on so heat operators, uh, heat semigroups. Okay, so P theta is a so semigroup gen uh, generated by uh, time space elliptic operators and the Bezos norm of regularity alpha, alpha is a negative exponent, and p is a integrability exponent containing this interval. So then uh, the Bezos uh, alpha p infinity norm is uh, given by uh, like this, uh, by using heat, uh, heat semigroup. Then you can see that this is an extension uh, of this Bezos norm uh, by replacing this, uh, so, so one component uh, distribution to two component uh, distributions. Okay, and this uh, means uh, exponential weight. So, uh, so it is a technical object. So, so, uh, so, <coughs> so you don't have to take care about it. Okay, so this is a full version of our main result. Okay, so in the remaining time, so I'd like to explain the rough sketch of the, pr uh, of the proof of the main result. Okay, so this is a strategy uh, of our main result, uh, of the proof of the main result. Okay, first, so so note that so we can assume that the capital F is a finite finite set without loss of generality, and we can def uh, <coughs> so we can order uh, the, uh, each element of F uh, so following their complicatedness. So from left to right, so. Uh, the symbols get complicated. So the tau1 is the uh, simplest one, and the tau n is the most complicated one. And we define uh, the subset fi uh, by the set from tau1 to tau i. And associated with fi, we can define 
fi dot by the so first order derivatives of tau in fi. Okay, so <coughs> under this preparation, so we have the so strictly increasing sequence of symbolic notations from f uh, f one f two to to uh, f n, and associated with them, so we also have uh, so increasing sequence of uh, first order derivatives from f y dot f two dot to f n dot. Okay, so our proof is inductive. So <coughs> the starting point is f y dot. So the convergence result for f y dot, uh, uh, f one dot, is very easy because the convergence result for f one dot is equivalent to the convergence of f n to f, uh, uh, so h n to h uh, in some basic norm. Uh, but it is uh, a trivial. One, uh, so there is no probability. Okay, so so we have checked uh, the initial case, and after that, our induction step uh, goes so uh, along uh, so, uh, red arrows. So from f one dot to f one, then f two dot f two, blah blah blah. <laughs> then uh, finally we. Uh, Get to Fn. Okay, so these induction steps uh, can be separated into three steps. The first step is uh, uh, from the convergence result for Fi minus one and Fi dot to the convergence result for Fi. In this step, the Poincaré inequality in the Wiener space has an important role. So this step is a probabilistic step. And the second step is about the convergence result for fi plus one dot for uh, p equal two. So in this step, uh, the reconstruction theorem for the regularity integrality structure has an important role. So there is no probability, and it is a purely uh, an, uh, analytic step. <coughs> and the third one, <coughs> third step, is the uh, most important point in our proof. So in the third step, we extend uh, the result in the second step to any p in this interval. In this step. Uh, some trick from Taylor expansion uh, has an important role. So it is a little bit so algebraic step. <coughs> okay, so our induction uh, can be separated to probabilistic and uh, analytic and algebraic step. Okay, so. <coughs> So let me explain the, de the details. So uh, the first, uh, so we will uh, prove the convergence result for f y uh, from them by the probabilistic argument. The point is that for any tau in f y, the stochastic uh, the problem is the stochastic moment of this random distribution. But by the uh, Poincaré inequality, this moment is controlled by the moment of first order derivative uh, around H. H is arbitrary element in the Camero Martin space. Um, but the, by the definition of the uh, abstract <coughs> derivative, uh, the, ab uh, so the Mariavan derivative of the model is uh, <coughs> can be written by the model of this abstract mo uh, abstract derivative here so we already know that the convergence result for d of tau holds 
So we can proceed the induction. OK, so in the second step, uh, we uh, proved the uh, convergence result for fi plus 1 dot for p equal 2. In this step, the sufficient condition uh, uh, has a role. So by the sufficient condition of a main result, uh, so for any tau, so other than uh, xc dot, the, uh, the expected regularity of tau in infinity sense is greater than this number. But by the definition of the so L2 regularity, this means that the L2, uh, L2 type regularity of tau is uh, always positive. <coughs> then in this case, uh, the convergence result for the VPSS model of tau in L2 sense is automatically obtained by the, ex uh, the modified reconstruction theorem for the regularity integrability structure. The situation is the same as the uh, so multiplication problem <coughs> of two distributions. So the multiplication of two distributions is well defined if and only if uh, the sum of regularities is positive. So the situation is the same. OK. <clears throat> the third one is the most important step in our proof. So the, uh, in the third step, we extend the L2 type convergence uh, result to any p in this region. Here, the point is that our BPS model uh, depends on the parameter p, but its dependence is discontinuous, of course, uh, with respect to p. For example, so, <coughs> uh, so, so please recall that the expected regularity rp is Expected regularity Rp <coughs> is large if uh, uh, P is small. And if P is, uh, P is large, then the expected regularity is small. So, <coughs> uh, so the So the difference of this uh, L, uh, LP type regularity exponent means that uh, the, the order of Taylor expansion varies depending on P. For example, uh, the BPS set model of this symbolic notation changes at uh, this number. So we have some discontinuous points of the BPS set model as a function of p. OK, so this formula has an uh, important role in our proof. OK, so for any tau in this set, so we can write down the BPS set model of tau in LP sense by the sum of the model in L2 sense and some remainder terms. Here, this is a VPS uh, uh, set model. So <coughs> the convergence result for this and this uh, uh, also holds. And this coefficient, uh, so, uh, this coefficient uh, is uh, contained in this LP space here, this integrability exponent appears as a discontinuous point of the BPS set model as a function of P. 
Okay, so this algebraic uh, formula uh, has an important role in our proof. <coughs> okay, so by using this formula, we can extend the result for p equal 2 to all p. Okay, so the proof is over. Merci. Very interesting talk. So, any comments, questions, please? No questions? So, okay. so, uh, so in this talk, where you consider just the, the case where the operator is the time derivative minus the Laplace operator, mm. but in the previous talk, where well, the operator. Oh even more general with yeah. some coefficients in front of the Laplace operator. Yeah. Um, so so well, that, that kind of more general case. So uh, how, 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 how did you manage? Uh, yeah, so uh, this proof also valid for any so semi-linear parabolic uh, equation. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, we, well, but the previous talk was about a quasi-linear case is uh, uh, a little bit uh, different. So, uh, so in the previous talk, so we uh, uh, so we change uh, we change the quasi-linear equation to the perturbation of the semi-linear equation. So at this stage, we can use our proof. Mm. Okay, other questions. So let, let me ask one okay. question. Okay. So you measure the regularity integrability mm -hmm. on, oh, in the space of time and x okay. together. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And the integrality p. Yeah. P is <coughs> also the integrality yes. p and x yes. together. Yeah. So if you consider, for yeah. example, the separate regularity. So like a straight cause is made. Yeah. Yeah. Can so you, can you do something? Yeah. For the wave. Yeah, so, very, uh, so I think it is a very interesting question. So it is a kind of future work. Yeah. Okay. Mm. No comments? Okay. Uh, let's thank the speaker and thank you. 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 Thank